All right, you guys, good morning. Welcome to Sculpt and Stretch. I am Trina Maria. So it is uh, 20 minutes of strength work, and then we get uh, 10 minutes of stretching recovery time together. So if you don't already have weights, grab your weights and we will get started. Welcome, Mandy. Welcome, Morgan. Nancy, good morning. Welcome, Ashley. All right, you guys. Let's start by giving ourselves a little bit of a bear hug, drawing up those knees, keeping those chest lifted. So today is the final day of Nine to Shine. In honor of that, I've chosen nine moves that are going to hit us total body that we'll work through. We'll go through them twice. Here we go. Nice big hugs here of the knee. There we go. Good morning. Welcome, welcome. And then let's reverse lunge and then twist over our front knee and step it back. Here we go. So reverse lunge and twist over the front knee. Good morning, Heather. Welcome, Rebecca. You got a team looking good. Reverse lunge and twist over that front. There we go, a few more here. And then we'll work a windmill and then we'll get started with our strength portion. Again, again, getting our body a little bit warm. Let's bring those arms and legs wide. Hinge at the waist and reach opposite arm towards opposite leg. Come down and up. And you don't need to take this twist too deep. But again, we're working in some functional um, movement here. A little bit of a rotation. Reach down and up. Here we go, reach down and up. So again, in honor of nine to shine, day nine, we got nine strength moves we will do together. I didn't count out the stretch. Here we go, we have five, four, three, two, and one. Good morning, Bridget. Welcome, Kathy, Jesse, Emily. All right, you guys, our first move, we're going to do a combo of good morning into a goal post slider. So bring those hands here behind those ears. Brace your core. You're going to hinge at the waist. Come on um, with a flat back down. And then you're going to straighten your arms. Then you're going to draw those arms back, bend those elbows, squeeze between the shoulder blades. And then bring those ears, hands back by those ears, and then come on up. So we're just comboing two um, body weight core strengthening moves. So right here, strain those arms, brace your core, and then squeeze those elbows back. Squeeze between the shoulder blades, fingertips back behind those ears, and come on up. We will need to, to stabilize the core muscles before we start adding in the limbs and the legs and all that stuff. So that's why oftentimes we start with the good morning or sorry, <laughs> the go post sliders in class. So we want a little bit of um, a little method to the madness of our strength training. So here we go, stabilizing the core. We have five more seconds here. Then we're gonna pick up our weights and get to the rest of the workouts. This is move one, three, two, and one. Grab your weights, you can go with your heavier set if you have it. We're gonna do a deadlift, but with the weights off to the side and add in a back row. So weights off to the side, thumbs forward. Roll the shoulders back with a slight bend in those knees. You're going to hinge at the waist, just like we just did. I'll show it from the side. Hinge at the waist. Come down for that deadlift. And then while you're low, you're gonna draw those elbows back, bend those elbows, bring the weights back down, and then slowly come back to start. Bring those hips forward slightly. Come on down, hinge at the waist, flat back. Draw those elbows back, bring it back here, and then come on up. You guys just are pouring into class. Good morning, welcome Sarah. Shale, good morning, Lacey, Deanna. Looking good, guys. Good morning, Carla, Michelle. So, and again, we're coming down. Draw those elbows alongside that rib cage. And then bring it up. Good morning, Malcolm, Becky. Come on down. Trina, good morning. Morgan, Miley, loving yourself is, I don't know if that's Anne Marie, if that's a new member. <laughs> I love the screen name, though. I don't see you, um, but welcome to class, loving yourself. Um, there we go. We have five. Four, three, two, and one. Now we're gonna bring those weights forward at our chest. We're gonna bring those legs a little bit wider. 
Go down for a goblet squat, squat down low, hinge at the waist, and then as you rise up, you're gonna balance, bring your left knee up, hold, and then slowly bring that leg back down to start and go to the other side, squat down, hinge at the waist with your squat, keep that chest lifted, and we're gonna alternate. So we're, we're using some weights, adding some resistance, and then we're adding in some balance. Again, working to strengthen the core here. We have 10 more seconds on this one. Squat down, bring it up, and balance. All right, now we're gonna bring the right leg forward, left leg back, um, bring the weights down. We're gonna hinge at the waist and come forward. So we're gonna hold the static lunge, and we're gonna do a back fly. So bend those elbows and squeeze between the shoulder blades, and then bring the weights down. Squeeze between the shoulder blades, bring the weights down. Those weights are a little heavy for that move for me. So I'm gonna just show it here, body weight. Squeeze between the shoulder blades, and then bring the weights down. So this would be lighter weights. Possibly if you have a few different weights right here. And again, we're hinging forward right here, squeezing between the shoulder blades and then slowly bringing it down. There we go, bring it out and squeeze. Slowly bring it down. 10 more seconds here, you guys are doing great. Again, one minute rounds, we'll repeat. There we go, three, two, and one. The next one, we're gonna go into a plie. Um, have the weights behind our hips, sink down, and then we're gonna do a little side bend, side to side. And it's slight, you don't wanna overly do it, but we're just adding in a little bit of a, a bend here, working those obliques. So long the spine, we're just going side to side. So this is always a great modification if you take another class and your trainer um, does um, standing knee to elbow. This is a great option if it doesn't feel good to bring up your hip. Here we go, side to side. Right here, we're a move five of nine, of our nine to shine, sculpt and stretch, strength portion. We have five more seconds here. Then we're gonna put one weight down and do a cross body knee pull. So here we go, three, two, and one. Bring one weight down, um, hold your single weight on either side, bring it high to the right, bring your left leg out to the left, and then you're gonna draw the knee up and then bring the weight to the outside of uh, the shin and then tap it down. So you're going to cross the body and then tap it down. If it doesn't feel good to have weights overhead, you can drop the weight and you can go body weight with it, but I want you to go slow. We're not doing cardio, we're working on strength, we're working on body control, working on some balance. If the balance is a bit much, you can be here and you can slide. So again, every time you come into class, I want you to feel comfortable that we'll find a move to work with where, where you're at today. Good morning, Jesse, welcome. Oh, you guys, these look great, yes. And yes, I see Carla's doing a little extra bonus turning her gaze too, making it even more challenging to work that balance in. Looking good, nice, Victoria. Awesome, Shalise. You have five more seconds there. And then we're gonna go into a twisted liberty or an upright row in three, two, one. So now two weights, palms towards your body for the twisted liberty. So what you do, you'll do a quarter squat down. And then as you exhale, you're gonna bring up your left hand overhead and like kind of punch up towards the sky, pivot off that back foot and then come to center. And then other side, inhale, exhale. If it doesn't feel good, with weights overhead, your shoulder option is an upright row. So you can be right here, okay? You guys are doing great. We have two more moves. Exhale as you twist again, quarter squat down, and then you use that power and you bring that weight up. Thank you to Cheryl for helping me name this move when it first brought it a few months back. I didn't have a name for it. It helps when they have a name. Here we go, five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna go into a narrow squat now. Roll those shoulders back, palms up for a server curl. So the palms are up, you're gonna get nice and close. You're gonna go out, in, and then up. So again, if you have weights that are a little heavier that you prefer to do your curls with, 
you're here. So again, up from the side, you're going out, parallel to the ground, bring it in center, and then bringing it up. And again, we're working a narrow squat. And we've got one more move. And then we will repeat some of the moves. We're gonna slow it down. Some of the moves we're gonna hold. The single leg moves will keep the same pace as we did on the other side. We have five more seconds here. And our final move is gonna be triceps. And three, two, and one. Uh, lighter weights, palms are gonna be up. You're gonna hinge at the waist. You can bring those legs hip distance. And you're gonna do tiny pulses up. I'll grab my lighter weights here for that. So the triceps are a smaller muscle <laughs> than the biceps or the quads or <laughs> the muscles in the back, right? So you might want to grab lighter weights. And for this one, I just have my palms up and I'm working tiny pulses for the full minute here. Tiny pulses. There you go, team. So again, nine to shine. The goal was to build that daily self-care habit. So it was a workout a day, nine days straight. September is the ninth month, nine rhymes of shine. We love the word shine here at BFIT. It's harder by Smart Smile Shine mantra for the year. Here we go, team. We're gonna go straight into it with the good mornings. In three, two, one, straight into it. Here we go. But here's the thing about our challenge, right? Maybe you're not at nine. That's okay. But if you did sign up, or even if you didn't sign up, but you're like, yeah, I'll kind of follow along, but I'm not, I'm, you know, I'm not gonna sign up. That's okay. But the, if we won and you won, if you've been thinking a bit more about checking in for yourself every day. And again, it can be as simple as a 15 minute stretch session, uh, stretch express or on your own since now you guys are well versed in stretching with us, right? It could be a meditation or again, it could be a class like this live, could be on demand, but doing something for you, just you. This isn't for anybody else. This isn't for your husband. This isn't for your kids. It's not for your boss. It's for you, something for you every day. That was the goal and the intent. So we are all successful if we've been thinking over the last eight, nine days about ways to eke out this a smidge just for you, right? Here we go. We're gonna go into those deadlifts for the back row in three, two, and one. Pick up those weights. And this time uh, we're doing those deadlifts off to the sides as opposed to the front of the body. So you're gonna go down nice and slow. And this time we're gonna grow nine times, nine, eight. So we're holding that um, hinge at the waist, seven. Here we go, six, five, four, whew, three. We have two more, then we're gonna hold the weights up. Two, one, hold. Squeeze between your shoulder blades. There you go, the triceps are working here, your back's working, your core is working, your glutes are working. Hold, hold, hold for five, four, three, two, one. Um, bring the weights down, slowly come on up. Now weights at your chest. Now we're going into the goblet squat with the knee pull. I want us to go slow down on the squat. Here we go, count of nine. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, rise up, um, balance on the right leg, hold. We're going slow. Let's savor it, right? Slowly bring this leg down. We're going back down for a count of nine on our squat. Slowly come back to two legs. Here we go, nine, eight. Oh, you guys look great. Seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, rise up and balance on the left. And again, this toe can be down if the balance is a bit much. Hold, hold, hold for three, two, and one. Next up is that reverse lunge, left leg forward, right leg back, and the back five. Again, you might wanna go a little lighter with the weights if what you had was heavy. Bring it here, squeeze between the shoulder blades. And it doesn't need to be a nine cap, but I want you to go slow down. There you go, maybe bring it up to a count of two. Hold for two. And then go down maybe kind of four. There you go, oh, feel that? 
So it might look like we're doing less work because we're going slower, but those muscles are totally working a little extra the second time through, right? And also they're a little fatigued because we already did this one time through. So bring it up, hold, and then slowly bring it down. Here we go, let's do it. Bring it up, hold, slowly bring it down. We've got five more seconds here, then we're doing the plie, side bend. Here we go, three, two, and one. You can pick up your heavier weights again if you would like, or stick with what you have. And again, and knees are turned out, toes are turned out. Roll the shoulders back, and a little side to side action. Nothing crazy, <laughs> side to side. Here we go, and then another option, if you're going body weight, you can have those hands here, like the start of the good morning, and you can be right here with it. Or if you wanted to be holding weights to have the weights higher, you could imagine user weights. You could go goal post and you could be right here. There we go. Lots of options. 20 seconds here. Side to side. Lengthening the spine. Our next move is the weighted cross body, knee pull, balancing on the left. And five, four, three, two, and one. So put one weight down. This time we're balancing on the left, weights high to the left. And then you drop the right knee, hold for a moment, and then step it down. Here we go. And again, if you want more of a balance challenge, you can look behind you when you get that knee up. So we are getting in um, core work and ab work without hitting the ground today, it's all standing. But with our stretch, we'll get down to the ground. There you go. And again, you can always go weight free on this. And again, you can skip the balance if it's a bit much and you can work a slide and slide it in, slide it back. There we go. I'm gonna check you guys out. 15 seconds here. Nice, Trina. Beautiful. Looking good, Lorraine. Go Frozen, Carrie. Nice team. Here we go. We have five more seconds here. And then we're going into the Twisted Liberty or the Upright Row. Three minutes left of strength. And then we stretch. Again, it's a quarter squat. Come on down and then exhale. And then bring the weight up. And again, if weight's overhead, do not feel good. You're here with an upright row, working the shoulders. There we go, team. And I talk about it all the time when we do this move. I think about Sherry and her daughters. They're cheerleaders. And if you ever watch cheerleaders, when they're picking up like this hunt person and bring them up, they're always gonna do that dip, right? You do that dip and then, then they bring them up. So do the dip, bring it up. You would never wanna do like lock knees and bring them up like this. There's no need. Use your body to help you get a little oomph and then exhale and twist. Next up, we got those server curls and we're gonna go slow with it. Two moves or left. So again, we get 20 minutes of the strength. We gotta make it count. Roll those shoulders back, palms up. And then I want you to bring those weights out and I just want you to hold. Hold with those weights out. I wanna watch your arms shake a little bit. Good morning, Misa. Congrats on your first blog post. I didn't get to read it yet, but I saw that you posted that you did it. So congrats. Hold, hold, hold. Now, put those weights out. Tiny pulses, put them out. Let it burn. Tiny pulses. Yes, go Aaron. There you go, pulse, pulse, pulse. All right, we're pulsing, we've held it out. Now bring it out a little bit more and then bring it up and then bring it out, and then bring it in. Here we go, we have 10 more seconds. Out, up, I'm sorry, I'm not holding you, no squat in my, out, and in, we have five, four, three, two, and one, our last one. And then again, we transition to our stretch. Palms up, hinge at the waist, hold. So there are some things that are happening right now. Things are shaking, probably a little uncomfortable. It's okay though, it's the last move. So now let's start pulsing. 
I don't know if you, you probably, maybe you can see it. I don't know. I'm totally shaking. Maybe you're not shaking. I hope you're shaking, you guys, all right? If you're not shaking with this, you have homework until next Thursday. Buy heavier weights or pick up the heavier weights next step for your triceps. Otherwise, I hope this is pretty uncomfortable. Know that we're almost done. The next 10 seconds, I just want you to hold it up. And besides maybe some shaking, just hold it. Thank yourself for coming in, challenging yourself, getting a bit stronger, and we get to stretch and recover in three, two, and one. Oh gosh, those felt like a million pounds at the end. Here we go, you can grab a drink and we're just gonna transition straight to the ground for a stretching recovery class, part of class. And that's a beautiful thing about this class is that this time is built in. So in 30 minutes, you get your uh, strength in, we go total body, and now we do the stretching recovery time. So let's come on down. Ooh, that got a little brutal at the end. <laughs> uh, we could just sit crisscross applesauce to get started, and we'll bring the left arm across the body and then clutch it with the right, right here. Just take a moment here. You wanna be long the spine as you do this thinking about keeping the left ear away from the left shoulder. Even the heart rate came up a little bit there at the end of class, end of that, right? When it gets hard, your heart's like, what's happening? <laughs> there you go. Now we just start to relax, lengthen those muscles. So they worked hard with all those contractions as we worked through our strength portion and now we're lengthening. And here we go. Let's do two more breaths here. Just take a moment. This helps with the shoulder too and the upper back. All right. <laughs> From here, reach up to that arm, bend the elbow. And this time, I'm going to show from the back. I don't talk about this a lot, but this time, when you have it back, I want you, instead of just reaching and trying to go like this, I want you to see if you can, how close you can bring the hand, the, the, the hand to the middle of your back. So that's gonna just give you a little extra, oh, I'll bring it closer. So a lot of times when I do this one, I'm like this and we go to the side and I hold the other elbow. This time I want you to try to go for the middle of your back. So you'll feel it just a little different than what we've been doing. Gives you like a little extra, right? And again, take it gentle and it's okay if you don't get there. That is absolutely fine. But it's just trying to reach another spot to get a little length here. All right, Whew. bring it down, roll that shoulder back a couple of times and we'll go over to the other side. So here we go, over to the other side. So I wanna thank everybody, the members and friends and family that did um, join us for Nine to Shine. It's a lot of fun. I didn't get 100%, but I did share in the, uh, the group, the Nine to Shine group. That's okay. Like, we don't need to expect 100% out of ourselves at all times. I did my best. Got seven out of nine. I'm very proud for that showing and not beating myself and not giving up when I missed a day. And all of a sudden, I was like, oh, it's over. It's never over, right? So each day is a new day. So whether this is your ninth workout in a row, your seventh out of nine, or just your first out of the September, it is okay. You showed up today and that's what counts, right? So other side here, oh gosh. <laughs> and then let's see if you again can reach towards like um, right in the middle of your back here. Stretch, stretch, stretch here. And then let's clasp those hands, reach them forward of our chest. And then I want you to work towards um, dropping your head, rounding your spine a bit. Imagining um, some separation between your shoulder blades and bringing your chin towards your chest a little bit here. I have exciting news for you guys. Yes, so today's Thursday at 5.30 Pacific, right? Tomorrow, you guys at this time slot get Sherry teaching vinyasa flow yoga, which is new to the schedule. Uh, roll the uh, shoulders back, and now I want you to pull the clasped hands away 
from your back, maybe bring a glance up toward the ceiling. So starting tomorrow, yoga flow, no, vinyasa, vinyasa flow or vinyasa yoga, whatever we're calling it, vinyasa something <laughs> at this time. I think it's a great complement to the other classes we offer during this time. So I hope if this is a time that works for you, you do do it, whether you love yoga and you're super excited or you've never tried yoga before. I think it's awesome for a Friday morning. There you go, open up that chest. And now one more on this seated position. I'm right arm down, left arm up nice and tall. Reach up nice and tall and then walk your fingertips out to the right as you open up a little bit here. So I'm very excited for yoga. I try to do peace and power, but it's later in the day and I'm on the East Coast and sometimes it doesn't work out as well. The early workouts are usually easier to manage, right? All right, and then the other side, reach it up nice and tall. And then you can walk your hand out here, open up that side body. So we have four more minutes. I was thinking to get onto our backs, do a recline twist. I think that'll feel good and complement what we've already done for the upper body. So let's come on down to your back. If you prefer to stay standing, you could do it standing um, by bringing one leg over the other and doing a forward fold. That should get the same parts of the body. Otherwise, come on to your back, hug your left knee into your chest. And then bring that knee across the body. And then if you want a little more shoot up, that left arm, reach it up nice and tall, and then open up to the side, and you can turn your gaze to more news. I got I got lots of news today. I feel like a newspaper, but I will be sharing the recording of the first Friday's Wellness Cafe that was held on Friday before break. Um, Lauren and I co-hosted with the other coaches that are part of the VFIT Signature Series, so if you've been wondering what the heck that thing is, it's worth listening to that replay and so you can hear what we're all offering. So I'm doing personal training. Lauren is doing nutrition counseling. Sherry is doing health coaching. Uh, Bridget is doing accountability coaching. And Lindsay M is doing yoga therapies. So again, it's a little late, forgive me, but I'll send out the recording and so that will help answer questions that you may have. Hug uh, your other knee into your chest here. And then bring it across the body. We got two more minutes. Oh my goodness. Reach up your arm and then again, you can open up to the other side. And there we go. And again, night to shine. The whole goal is to get into that mindset of something for you every day to build that daily self-care habit and to get rid of the guilt. I think there's a lot of guilt associated with um, self-care me time with women. Let it go, man, you deserve it. So that was our goal. So hopefully you're thinking more about getting it in every day. There we go. Oh, enjoy this stretch here. All right, one more breath here. And then we're gonna do, I think they call it the banana stretch. <laughs> uh, so um, bring those legs out straight, bring your arms up overhead, and then we will cross the left leg over the right and bring those, bring those, the crossed ankles out to the right and then reach your right arm, <laughs> reach your left wrist, and then bring that out to the right. So basically you're just trying to make uh, and if someone was looking up at you, you're making a curve. So either C or the opposite of a C right now, getting a stretch along that side body, getting a nice stretch here. Close your eyes if you're able to and you'd like to. And just again, take this moment, thank yourself for coming in. Again, pushing on that strength segment. And hopefully enjoying the recovery, stretching time together here. Stretch, stretch, stretch. And then come back to center either side. So right ankle over the left and then bring it out to the side here and then reach the opposite wrist. Oh my goodness. And then get a nice stretch here. 
Stretch, stretch, stretch. Whew. All right, one more breath here. How are we doing on time? Oh, perfect. There we go. Come back to center, and then you can roll up to one side. Come on up, and we'll do two breaths together. Inhale, reach those arms up. You guys did amazing. Thank you so much for joining. Exhale. Those of you coming in for cardio shred, get ready. <laughs> and you'll reach those arms up. Ooh, and then exhale down. Thank you again so much for joining. And those guests that we have, I hope you've enjoyed your nine days with us here at BFIT. All right, team, have a good one. Bye to everybody. Have a good one.